Hi everybody, today we're going to take a look at using PlayPosit, a really great interactive video software that you can use to really improve your student learning and create interaction while watching videos or whatever it is that you have, uh, MP3s, etc. There's multiple aspects which you can use with PlayPosit. So today specifically we're going to focus on uh, importing and adding students, creating your own video bulbs, uh, assigning these bulbs to students, and then viewing the data at the end so that you can get a better grasp on what your students are doing. So log in or sign up. I use my Gmail account. Go right in. And what you're going to do when you be go in is go to your profile and you'll see all sorts of different items here. If you have Google Classroom, if your school is using Google Classroom, you can sync this right up with your classes in Google Classroom. It'll automatically do that, upload student names and everything. It's really pretty nice. You can upload and put in a profile image, make sure all this is good to go. This is a search code, which is yours, so your students can enter this to find your classes. And down here, always make sure that your bulbs are visible and depending on how you want that to be, maybe you only want it to speak people specifically in your class or maybe you don't care and you're happy having this be a public entity. Go for it, and you can see all the different information as you go down. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a class. So we're going to go to Classes. And as you can see, I have a class created already. But you just simply select New Class, give it a name. And then if you would like to choose a color folder for it, go ahead. That's up to you. Maybe it makes it a little easier for organization. Now that we have this class created, we want to now add learners to the group. Now, as I mentioned, if you have Google Classroom, this will do this for you automatically. But this way, if you don't have it, we have to do it a, the manual way. We click on Learners. Here's our class code for this specific class. You can give this to students. Also, if you select Upload Learners, here's the class code again. Here is a URL which you can post to wherever. So students could access the link and go directly to this class. Option two is uploading a comma-separated values file which is available on Google Google Excel and even Microsoft excuse me Google Sheets you just export or download as a CSV file and that'll take care of that for you you can upload it right into PlayPosit and you have your class set up now that we have our class and we have learners now what we want to do is we want to look and make a bulb but before we go and create our own what we can do is go here on the left side on the navigation and select pre-made bulbs. Now, this is fantastic because it's going to save you a lot of time and there's also just hours and hours and hours really days and years worth probably of content on here that's fantastic for you. So as you notice pre-made videos begin to pop up. When you create a video on here your videos will then be searchable. You can search by rigor, you can search by views, but what we really want to look at is up here at the search menu. Now we can type in the name, so let's go World War II. You can search by creator, keywords. Really nice right here, you can search by target audience. So maybe, I don't, I'm, I'm teaching high school, well I'm not gonna be interested in low level, I don't say low level, but entry level, elementary level videos for my class and vice versa. If I'm teaching in the first or second grade or third or fifth grade, I have no interest in using a ninth or twelfth grade video. So I'll go ahead, I'll select 6th through 8th grade. Subject, again you can search here. I will pick social studies and let's filter it out. And no data of course because that's just my luck. So when we go to World War II, you'll see a whole bunch of them pop up. So don't get distracted if, cause if you don't have it broken down by age group because sometimes the people who make these won't do that. So don't stress about that if you do so. Now the next item if you don't find anything in here that you would like to use, you can go ahead and you can create your own bulb. To do so, go to the left side and select My Bulbs. Now I have a one here that I have already started. I'm gonna go ahead and, actually I'm gonna add a new bulb. Enter the designer. And right here you have different options for how to input. Now that we're here, we can do all sorts of different options. We can, my videos, videos that you've uploaded, 
You can upload a video from your computer. You can upload an MP3. These are pay options, just so you know. They are not going to be included uh, on your free trial. So what we want to do for the free trial, we're going to go ahead and select the YouTube option. And what we can do is we can go ahead and paste in a URL to a video. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll do a little Al Bundy action. Why not? All right, so we'll throw in our video. And once we have this set up, when we go to customize, you'll notice just to put in captions and things, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to hit done. And now this will upload our video and put it in here for you. Now the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to create what they call interactions. And this is where you can put in questions or leave notes for your students, whatever it is that you would like. And you just simply, you can either by watching the video itself or by moving the cursor, you can lo locate a specific spot in the video in which you would like the video to pause and have your students create some sort of interaction or perform some sort of interaction. So now what we want to do is go to add an interaction and you'll notice the different possibilities pop up. Multiple choice question, free response, you can see the different options here. Pause is a real nice one because maybe you want your students to focus on a specific element that is coming up in the video next. You can just put select the pause option and put in a little note for them as like a heads up. For the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to select multiple choice. So what is Al's wife's name? We got Sally, Betty. We add an answer option, Luis and Peg. And because I know you all watch this show so much, I know you're going to select PEG as your correct answer. Now that you have selected PEG, if you click advanced, you can see the different options which you can have your students perform on these questions. So you can make this a required uh, interaction where the students cannot pass or go forward until they have answered and completed this section. You can let learners rewind the video to go back and look for that specific item that you would like them to identify. You can randomize the answer orders. So maybe you're doing a test or a quiz or you don't want students to just copy off each other necessarily. And then you can also allow more than one attempt. So hit done and that will take care of that for you. Once you're finished, go ahead and hit done and come here to review. This is where you can check your playback options one more time right here. You can check your privacy settings and any tags that you may or may not have put into uh, the video itself. Now, go ahead and hit save and exit. And this will bring you right back to your bulb. Once you save your bulb, you'll come back to this screen right here with all of your different bulbs you've created. Now you want to share this with your students. So over here under the actions column, we can preview the assignment. We can assign this. So when we click on this, our different classes will come up. We can simply assign it, give them a due date, and let it go. We can share it. So this would be a URL that you would paste uh, onto a website, whatever it is. Again, another option for assigned to learners. If you're in Google Classroom, your classrooms will pop up right here. Now that you're ready to go, we've talked about assigning. What you can do is, once you have that link shared, as I mentioned, you can assign to learners right here. You would just simply select a class, and I will give it an assignment date right here. Good to go. Good assignment link. And now you can assign this to learners right from this class right here. Once you have that situated, you can use that URL or you can upload the URL to your class stream. When you want to view how your students are doing, you can simply select monitor and go by uh, the individual class monitor. And you can go in, it's pretty nice, there's no data yet because I don't have a class, but you can, when you do do this, you'll be able to see real time uh, what students are doing. And it's really pretty nice uh, to give you instant feedback on how your students are performing on this particular exercise. So that concludes our tutorial on PlayPosit. 
Hopefully you find something valuable about this tutorial and something that you can use uh, as you move forward in this profession. Thank you.